I'm Dave, this is the Cider Baby Pod at the Rock and Blues, Muddy Brook. Hello. Hi Hello. Dave, you alright? Right, introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Morgan, I'm the drummer at the moment. I'm Brooke, I'm, I'm the lead singer and guitarist. Uh, and, and a uh, bassist. And, um, you, you had to think about that. I did, I'm not with you today now. <laughs> okay, um, I've got an EP of yours kicking around somewhere, which is quite nice. Oh, right, cool. So I've been, I've been playing a few tracks on that on the radio, so... Well done. Oh, thank you so much. Um, thank you. Just explain, explain your sound. Our sound, right? Well, I, I, too serious. I suppose the only way to really explain it properly is to say who our influences are, and the, the, it's a massive mix. It goes from it goes from grunge, it goes from pearl jam, you know, the, the usual, and then you got um, we got Foo Fighters, haven't you? Foo Fighters. Uh, also, uh, yeah, I think. We've had a few people describe our sound as post grunge, pop grunge, sound gardeny, uh, garbage. Um, Alice in Chains. Yeah, but also eighties inspired, like arrhythmics and that, you know, how they sort of write songs in a way. Um, but that's that's probably my, more my influence is like eighties, the eighties pop side of it. Yeah. So you don't look old enough to even have heard of the eighties. To be fair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was a bit of a. Yeah, late bloomer, I suppose, to an eighties. But my mum introduced me to it. And yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She she knows some good music. Can't yeah. oh, not like the eighties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live for it. I can hate the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I remember my hairstyles, but but we'll move. Oh, we'll move on. Maybe that's why you hate the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so tell me about your music. What music you got out now? We have got. Uh, debut EP Lunacy uh, we've got quite a few singles out and we've also got vinyl of Lunacy right. but since we've not really been long uh, been together that long we formed in uh, January 2020 which was unfortunate because then everything hit and uh, yeah so we, we managed to get the CP recorded in that thing and now now we're doing a lot of writing at the moment and we're hopefully we're releasing a, a new another EP in the new, in the new year okay Okay, so uh, continuing writing, continuing to create them, basically. Yes. Yeah. We're working with yeah. a lot of different writers at the moment. Um, there's one called uh, Su- Super um, Supersonic. I know that's their name, but it's two guys. Right. Uh, it's called Andy Gatford. Yeah. And Tom Baker. Um, but they they write for adverts and stuff, and, and Disney at the moment. So um, we're we're both writing with them. And uh, hopefully get the song out of them. But we're also writing with uh, the singer from Lost Alone. I don't know if you know Lost Alone. Yes. But, uh, they've yeah. just toured with uh, My Couple Romance. So we've got we've got quite a few new songs coming, and hopefully, uh, yeah, the next EP will be doing Brilliant. all right. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so, um, if you were to pick a song from your repertoire that says "This Is Us" at the moment, say so somebody can go and listen to it on Spotify. Or, or whatever horrendous streaming site that they choose but which would you choose well I personally feel like Liverpool girl uh, Liverpool guy sorry <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, it, it, um, it kind of embodies a lot of different styles yeah, but so also as so, one yeah, Liverpool guy personally yeah. I feel like that's good representation yeah, yeah. very Liverpool guy yeah, yeah, I'd say that or, or fake it because it's got um, uh, harmonies through that as well. Yeah. yeah, I think if I had to pick, if I wasn't in Muddy Brook and I was listening to Muddy Brook, fake it would probably be the one. You'd I, I like playing that. One, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the most fun. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so where can people go and see you now? Uh, obviously, Rock and Blues has been in Garden, whatever. But you know, where, where next? Next week we are in Doncaster. For the Root Rocks Festival, which is called Gig in a Field, yep. and uh, on the 5th. that's on the fifth. That's a Friday, and then on the Saturday we're in Colville um, playing Sav Fest at yes. Vic Bikers Club. So that's that's next week. And uh, but then we're, um, into September we're heading to Scotland, and we're doing Glasgow, we're doing Edinburgh, and also Brighton and London in September. So that that should be fun. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, just to wrap things up, question I've been asking everybody. Five favourite cheeses. Go. Favourite cheeses. Jesus. I thought you said Jesus. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. I mean, I'm gonna what, get what mozzarella. What cheeses do? Straight away, mozzarella, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I could eat mozzarella like an apple. Yeah. 
but what, right out of the packet? Yes, I have. Have you never done that? <laughs> uh, dude, it comes in a ball. No, you can no, just, no uh, I haven't, but I'm actually tempted to try. You should try it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm vegan, but I still yeah. like cheese, and before I was vegan, yeah. my favourite cheese was, yeah, mo- a mozzarella ball. But also, there's, there's parmesan to go on oh, your yeah. pasta. You can't, you can't. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put brie in there as well. Yeah, brie. Yeah. Oh, we, do we like cheese? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm gonna go with good old cheddar. Ch- cheddar. Yeah. my favourite because you can put it on anything, you know. Even yeah. if like you know, good old cheese on toast, you know. How many is that? Uh, oh, just <laughs> four. 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 Are you just checking everyone's knowledge of cheeses? Yes. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to Dax and Roxanne uh, yesterday, and uh, they're Swiss, so they come out with these great cheeses. And I was thinking, oh, oh I must go and check them all out. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's very cheesy of you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> I can, I can. Oh no, I'm going Russian again. Oh no, oh no, don't do that. <laughs> I, I do Russian accent when I'm a bit nervous, but not really. Sorry, I'll stop. That's, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I was, I was, you know, you can carry on. Huh? Camera's okay. rolling. <laughs> it's okay, they don't know as far as I put my English on. <laughs> we put on a very good English accent. Uh, English. So. Oh, English. <clears throat> mm, right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know how to answer that. <laughs> how do you put up with it? Uh, well, I've only... I've, not known them very long, so we'll see how long I last. But. <laughs> it's like a revolving door of drummers, is it? Yeah, I think so. So far, they're tolerable. So. <laughs> he tolerates you. That's that's. that's yeah, no, they're, they're, they're some of the loveliest musicians I've worked with, for sure. Morgan's a fantastic them. drummer. His other band's called Mina Torre, and they're a grunge as well. And it's going really well, isn't it? It, it sounds, is. Sounds yeah. brilliant. Do you know Grunge is on the return? It is, mate. It is. I mean, yes. so many bands I've. Yeah, you know, I'm coming across like younger bands like yourselves. So, yeah, you know, grunge is yeah. the it's next just been, thing. There's been too many years of just um, clinical music, and people get sick of lack of authenticity. Yes. Yeah. So they will always gravitate towards normal music. So that's I think that's why it's happening. Something a little bit different is always yeah. fresh to the ears and yeah, well worth checking out. People want real, don't they? Yeah. They want it real. I should wrap it up there, guys. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.